My name's Andrew, I'm 33 years old. I have disabilities, I have learning disabilities, ADHD, autism, depression, anxiety and, and diabetes. Today I've been doing a conference um, about, about community and um, it's my second year running and I'm co-chairing it. If we want people to live in the community, how do we ensure community-based staff have the training in the health tasks that they might need to perform? I was in a workshop being delivered by an LD liaison nurse and she spoke very clearly about the need for education and training of the workforce to happen from the beginning and to be embedded and not to be a standalone thing that's added partway through people's training or when people are consultants. I think because this is, a, this is a health initiative, it's something about getting that link between health and social care better established and better integrated. I'm a student and specifically nurse, so I'm actually on placement in Croydon. It's going really well. I've just been to the communication workshop, which went really, really well. In fact, we had a chance to role play, and I was the role player, so it was fantastic. In a social work team of 12, I was the only one who had space, but I felt this was important and I've been proved correct. She was sitting at the table and I told her about this client in Kent, how we couldn't find services in West Sussex. And she said, oh, I work in Kent. So I've met people here today that I wouldn't have otherwise um, come across, not in social care. I lead on volunteering and community engagement and we're working with recovery colleges and the first workshop was around the peer mentoring which was so useful. Some of our best initiatives that we've been coming up with for the service lately are actually born from the peer trainers. These are guys representing the whole service and I think that in itself is an achievement and that demonstrates to other services that they can all do it and it is possible. Someone asked a question today that I just hadn't thought of and we can take that away and report that back to our evaluator and other people involved in the project so that we can learn more. If something like this didn't exist, then in, in the fullness of time the skills would be forgotten, people would be set to one side and, and ignored as they were in years gone by. I have a son with severe learning difficulties, he's 26. I struggle a lot, I feel very segregated, I'd be very stuck. It's about engaging with each other, sharing to evolve care and practices to make sure that we together get it right, in essence that we enhance and save lives. We don't need to do more, we just need to share what we've got. In, in one short day, I've had to attend three different workshops and come away with so much information and things that are buzzing in my head thinking, why didn't I know about this before? When we all work on the same level, we can all help each other more. It's, it's nice to do that. I've enjoyed it very much any disabilities or any illnesses, it does not stop you in life. Keep pushing through and get through it. Well, my dream is for people with learning disabilities not to be cutted, let them have the support they want and let them live the life they want, not to be cutted out. Three people die every day needlessly because we don't have a workforce currently that have the knowledge and skills to support them effectively.